What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to episode number 45 of the Ultimate Team. We have still got this uh, this Spanish 4 triple 2 team, the discardables. We're still building some discardable teams. Uh, the problem with building discardable teams, guys, isn't why it's taken me so long to build another one is due to the fact that it's actually quite difficult to get hold of all the players for the team, all in the right formation and um you know and and trying to actually get them for the discardable value so sometimes i build like maybe six or seven players of the team and just cannot for the life of me get the last three or four that would make the team complete so i end up just discarding the players that i bought and, and making a few coins profit but uh we are building a another two teams currently and if i can if i can spend the next maybe day or two picking up some good players all will be good but we're in a cup still guys and uh, we've got uh, we come up against a guy who's got a pretty damn decent team. You know, he's, he's got a, a lot of pace up front, and uh, he just I I, I, w I want to say he played really well, but he just played contained defending. And David Fuster there on the 18th minute scores a cracking goal to make it one nil. Uh, genuinely, like a, a really good finish there. Like the the shot, the first time shot from outside the box goes in, and the 18 go one nil down. And in the 35th minute, I whip the corner in, and boom, there is Manu Del Moral to make it two nil in the 35th minute. That guy scores a lot of goals from corners. I know he's a striker for me, and usually it's the centre backs that score, but uh, yeah, he scores a fair few. Just after half time, guys, this guy gets uh, a little bit lucky with a break here. Look at this. The, the tackle falls straight to Etu. Etu with a left foot rocket, and that's an awesome, awesome goal. Like, uh, it, when I conceded that, I just I couldn't do anything but be like, oh my god, that was a nice goal. And in the 76th minute, Etu goes through again, and a left foot shot off the bar comes back to him. Don't know how the Wellington wasn't offside there, but Wellington taps it home into the open goal to make it 2 2. And it's annoying that I threw away a two goal lead. But almost straight after we get the corner there, Manu Del Moral going up for the header, winning it again. The keeper parries it out and Manu Del Moral is there to clean up the mess the keeper made to make it 3-2. And that is how the game finished and I was really, really proud of that win because it's he was a, he was a tough opponent. He defended really, really well and he had a, a considerably better team than me, you know. So uh, to, to pick up a win there was just absolutely awesome. 623 more coins as well and uh, you know the discardable showing they can do some work and look at the possession there 61% possession 88% pass accuracy with this team with the 4 triple 2 team I actually find it ridiculously easy to keep hold of the ball uh, I guess maybe that's due to either the formation or the fact that I concentrate a lot more but we did build another discardable team it is a Brazilian team and this team has absolutely zero pace like it's genuinely one probably the slowest team I've ever built um, so we've got Victor in goal there We've got uh, Fernandez at right back, cost me 300 coins. Also, obviously, every one of these players cost me 300 coins. Uh, Pedro Jeromel at centre back, along with uh, Felipe Lopez. And at left back, we've got Alex Silva, who's actually a really good uh, left back. And I think the only player with 80 pace, I think, does Williams? Yeah, Williams has 70 pace. And then Henrique Boost there with uh, short pace as well. Then we've got Meku Sell there with 76 pace. He used to be five star skills and, only, and now only has four star skills. We've got Julio Baptista as a centre forward with 54 pace. And I, I got him just because I'm an Arsenal fan. And Carlos Alberto with a five star skill moves there in the camp position. And up front, Diego Ribeiro with three star skill moves, three star weak foot, and only 78 pace. So it's going to be interesting to use this team. Uh, I don't actually use it in the next game because their fitness isn't perfect so I need to play another game with them on the bench just to build up their fitness and just to show you guys I finally sold some more stuff there the fitness card went and the 451 card went Bravo finally sold for 2400 co coins Goburn for 3200 and that goalkeeper I made a huge loss on I made like 3000 coin loss on him so all pretty annoying so we're going to the, the final of the cup now and come up against a guy called Riliu and uh, he's got a pretty average team nothing crazy good about it but he's only got 55 chemistry and you see these sort of players and you just think yeah this this is going to be an easy win I can't imagine it's going to be too too difficult for me to pick up the three well I say the three points but uh, you know pick up the pick up the win in advance uh, even though this is the final but in the 45th minute guys after controlling the first half he, he breaks here and gets gets through to Lopez and I tell you what all credit to him that was a tidy finish you know lovely like opens his body up opens the right foot up and slots it into the far corner to make it 1-0 in the 45th minute and I was banging on his door the entire game like I genuinely genuinely was like hammering at him and I kind of expected a goal to come and in the 82nd minute the ball goes through to Varela there he finesses it around the corner after Liedson doing some good work and in the 82nd minute we tie up to 1-1 and as soon as I got back to 1-1 you know I knew uh, I just knew I'd win the game and the ball comes out to Varela here on the left hand side he does uh, the Elastico chop or the four star skill version a nice roulette and then smashes it home to make it 2-1 in the 85th minute and give us another trophy so we win the gold cup yet again 
And uh, after this game, guys, I thought, you know what? We've won the Gold Cup so many times now. It's time to maybe start looking to move into divisions again. And uh, we're in Division 1 currently. We've got a bad record in Division 1. We've got two wins and three losses after five games. So we're a bit, uh, bit of a way out from actually getting even staying in the division you know and i hate division one anyway like it's it's just far too sweaty for me the the people that you come up against just aren't enjoyable to play against and they they build the sweatiest teams and just give you the most shit and for me tournaments are far more entertaining and i have a lot more fun playing them and that's what fifa is supposed to be about so once i once i actually win division one i don't think i'll ever go back and play it again because for winning it you get the the eight thousand coins and the gold pack so you know you can't really uh can't really turn your nose up to that so this game is over guys, We've got 2,609 coins all together and we'll just show you the match details there, 57% possession, 11 shots on 5 on target, 88% pass accuracy and another trophy in the bag. So this is the team again guys, the discardables team, uh, For I've got a couple of rares in there, sorry, yeah a couple of rares in there and you guys said maybe I should look to build a non-rare BPL team, that is one that I'm building and I came up against this guy in... Um, this is actually a cup match guys, apologies, it's not a league match, this is actually another cup match. So this is the first round of the Gold Cup again, and this guy's got an insane team. He's got Torres, Mayuka, Sessignon, Inform to Wrapped, Man of the Match, uh, Mikel, Ramirez, Kabul, Luis, Walker, Gibbs, and Czech in goal. And it's it's one of the strongest BPL teams you're likely to see. And look at the halftime stats. I had 86% possession, 94% passing, and one shot. This guy was just... Uh, he tried to kill the game. He, he would contain defend to the max to the point where I could stand there and he wouldn't attempt a single tackle on me. And so eventually the game went to penalties. I did try like the last sort of 20 minutes of the game and in, in extra time. I did try and play the game normally and try and get a win. Um, but this guy was just a sap like you know like he had such a great team but he wouldn't let go of x like as soon as i had the ball i could stand there without him even attempting a tackle and it makes the game so dull when people just contain like that you know to the point where i could walk up to his box and finesse shot at the keeper or have a shot without even getting challenged um so i tried my best to to score a goal in open play but it wasn't going to happen and uh, eventually we went to penalties and he missed his first two penalties well I saved the first penalty and he missed the second penalty there so put me in a good position if I could finish this off with Jeffren to make it 2-0 on penalties after two penalties and that's exactly what I did Jeffren puts it straight down the middle and we go 2-0 up and it, you know at this point I know I'm going to win the game it's, it's pretty comfortable that uh, I'm going to win it but he does score that one with Mayuka there and uh, we go into the, the third penalty for myself and we've got Carlos Alberto on the ball here. Carlos Alberto steps up and Carlos Alberto dispatches it down the middle perfectly to make it 3-1 after three penalties. And uh, now I know I'm going to win this game, which is awesome. We're going to move through to the second round of the Gold Cup again. Uh, he steps up with Sessignon here and uh, poor penalty taker. So, you know, my penalty saving method prevails yet again and I go through 3-1 on penalties after just uh, four penalties for him and three penalties for me so we take the win there which is awesome uh, I, sh I would have shown you guys the match stats but after after watching the the few replays here um, we get to the the match screen where it shows you how many coins you've won and all that sort of stuff and once again guys once again I get the old could not uh, could not register your stats or something like that you'll see the message pop up any second now ea servers are unable to process your request at the current moment please try again later and you guys know what that means that means we get another loss on the account that's like the fourth time in the last sort of 15 games that that's happened to me so we get another loss on the account which is really frustrating because i worked my bollocks off to win that third game of this uh, episode and the, the guy just you know well he, he didn't get the win either but um it, it's disappointing that i didn't get a win just because of the EA servers yet again. So the EA servers trolled hard. You'll see here when I come back in, I did get a loss and I did get the DNF modifier added on to the, uh, to well, reduced from the account. So because I had that happen to me just like four games ago as well, my DNF modifier is dropping dramatically and it's not even my fault, which is uh, very, very, very frustrating. But anyway, guys, we are coming towards the end of the episode now. So if you did enjoy this, be sure to leave a like and comment in the comment section if you if you got anything constructive to say about the series. And uh, yeah, like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. But anyway, this is the end of the video. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Cheers.